Hey boys and girls, it's Miss Zimmerman here and I'm going to show you how to get a Tinkercad account or sign in if you already have one. So the first thing we're going to do is go to Tinkercad so you can just search that and it's spelled T-I-N-K-E-R-C-A-D and the full one is Tinkercad.com but if I just put Tinkercad in it will come up. Um, this is it and you can click on it. Now Oh, here we go. I already have an account, so let me log out of that. When you search Tinkercad, it should come up to this um, originally. If you already have an account and you're logged in, then it'll do what it just did to mine. But the very first time and the first time only you want to create a new account, you would click Join Now. If you already have an account and you know your username and password, you can click Sign In. Um, but I recommend that we start with a personal account um, because you can sign in using Google, which makes it so much easier and you don't have to remember username and passwords. You just have to know your Google account. So click join now and then click a create a personal account. I am not setting up a classroom account for this, this time. Um, so create that personal account. It's going to make things more simple and sign in with Google. You may have to select your name or sign into your Google account at this at this point, so just be aware of that. I'm signed in already on my computer, so it's just going to take me straight to what we call our dashboard. So that's what we're looking at. Um, this is where all of your Tinkercad files will be housed. This is its home, and so this is one I already created. Uh, to create a new design, you would just click right here, create a new design. And it takes you to our workplace, which you are going to look at that in a different video. Um, just to be able to get back to your, your um, dashboard, you want to click on the icon. So just remember to go back and forth to the dashboard, click on the icon, the Tinkercad icon, and then you're back on the dashboard. And there's my new, my new design I just created. If I wanted to jump back into either one of these, um, it should show you a picture. I didn't have anything, I didn't create anything, so I can't, there's nothing there. But once you create something, you're gonna see an image of what it is, so make it easier. And then you can click Tinker This, that will take you back into be able to work with it. So tinker that, and it opens it back up. Before I leave this page, um, you will have to share a link with um, your classmates that you're gonna post onto Google Classroom. So to do that, you want to come up over in the corner. Uh, you're going to invite people to design with you. And click there. And I can copy a link. It's copied. And then you would go into your Google Classroom and paste that. So just a warning, though, people will be able to work onto your design. So we have to have a level of trust here to where you um, can look at someone's design, but don't touch it, OK? If that becomes a problem, we'll have to do this in a different way. But that's how you do it. Go back to your dashboard by clicking right there. So super simple to sign up. Just sign up with a personal account. They're free. Um, you have all of the abilities that you need to do if you were in a classroom account. And it just makes it easier so you don't have to worry about username and passwords if you sign in using your Google account. All right, guys, I'm looking forward to our first challenge. Have a great day and stay safe. Mwah.